Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my video. Bad intersections, bicycle theft up, and the moonbeam. Yes, there is a rumor that a very strange bicycle thief runs a chop shop here on Iron Street. And if you should ever disturb him by getting too close, he's going to moon you. Mooning, of course, means he will expose his bare buttocks to you with no clothing, which is very mean and quite illegal. So let's see if that is true and um, see what we can find. We're starting to head north on Iron Street. Here is a panoramic view of Iron Street as it goes up the hill towards Alabama Street. First things first, we need to cross State Street, which is a challenge. First, I need to get into the leftmost lane, which is the turn lane. I am a vehicle, a bicycle, but wow, that green van is going to hit me head on. He wants to turn left as well behind me. So I've got to sneak across very carefully without those cars hitting me. That was very close to a head-on collision. Whew! We finally made it across safely. Nerves rattle, but no injuries. That is a very poorly designed intersection. And soon you will see information on how to contact Bellingham's Public Works Department to tell them how to fix that intersection. So, let's talk about bicycle thefts. Bis Bellingham does have a bicycle theft problem. Especially if you leave your bicycle locked with only a cable lock or you should leave it unlocked. There are those on the prowl who look for bicycles that are not secured well, including this famous mooning bicycle thief. And by the way, there is the definition of mooning. Bicycle thieves work differently than what you and I would expect. They don't just take the bicycle and ride around enjoying the bright, shiny, brand new bicycle. Oh no, the professional bicycle thieves chop. They'll take your bicycle, your brand spanking new, shiny new bicycle, and strip the parts. You see, Many of the parts of very, very high-end bicycles cost more than your car. Well, there's the derailleur. If we start with the front derailleur, that we should see right now. That derailleur could be at several thousand dollars on a high-end racing bike. The rear derailleur is even more expensive. They could go to five to six thousand dollars on a high-end bicycle. And this is an extremely high-end, custom-made, high-power bicycle light. It's very expensive. They're available from specialist designers in Europe. Those parts are highly sought after. So when your bicycle gets stolen, it's going to go through a long chain of events. It will get taken to what's called a chop shop. That's a place where all the parts get stripped off and put on other bicyclists, sometimes on request by dishonest bicyclists who want a custom bicycle cheap. So they take the bicycle, the parts off the bicycle, 
that was stolen and put them on a different bicycle, usually with a far, far cheaper frame. And that gets taken probably to Vancouver, B.C., Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, San Diego, or maybe even Mexico, where they'll get a good price for that bicycle and its parts, and it's so far, far away that nobody will recognize anything. So it's extremely important to keep your bicycle secure, and especially if it has very, very expensive parts, which can be easily stripped off and put on another bicycle. You will recognize a chop shop because they have many, many bicycles in many stages of disrepair. You would, we would have seen one if we encountered one here on Iron Street. And by the way, here's some information from Bellingham's Police Department. Please note carefully those two organizations, Project 529 and Bike Index. The Bellingham Police Department does have links to those sites, and please remember, always use a U-lock to lock your bicycle. These bicycle thieves always go after the lowest hanging fruit. And sure, you don't want your bicycle to be the one that is being stripped by this famous mooning bicycle chop shop, which, by the way, we have not seen here. And there is something you should be aware. This guy may throw parts at you if you do not properly acknowledge and give a proper standing ovation to his performances. So, fortunately, we have not seen anything that was thrown on the street. We have not seen any chop shots, and I have not been mooned. So let's take a little detour, take a loop here, and I want to show you the panoramic view of the Cascade. Right there, you see the Chuckanut Mountains, which are the only place where the Cascades meet the ocean, right here in Whatcom County. This is a view looking south on Iron Street. Now let's continue our journey north. Taking a look around, I see no parts. I see no chop shop. And I don't see the famous Bellingham Mooning Bicycle Thief and Chop Shop Operator. It looks like the police have done a good sweep here. For those of you here on Iron Street, you can now feel safe. Thank you for joining me on the ride and enjoy your day.